viewer that asked to get a close-up of my red New Zealand buck. So I thought, you know what, I'm just going to do a really good video Sorry, boy, of everybody of my bucks. So this is my little four-month-old buck. He was born 8-8-23. And uh, he is a red New Zealand. Now he's not a true red because he has white underneath and he's not actually red completely through a, an actual red New Zealand rabbit tree uh, something rabbit tree they're here in Michigan too he's got better with getting better bloodlines of reds but this is my little four month old his name is Champ And, uh, he's the curious one, as we can see. And my cages are 36 wide by, or they're 36 going this way, and then the width is 30. So these are... The more larger cages. Um, and now we're going to come over to my other New Zealand buck. This is my broken black buck Darius. He will be a year old next month in February. He's actually the sire to it's going to be four litters now of kits and so far his first two litters that were born each mama had ten babies one mama had way more brokens and some solid blacks than the other the other one had more solid blacks whites with a couple broken and then that, that was it Darius is a very sweet buck <clears throat> he loves being petted and I really like his confirmation, his uh, disposition and everything. And really I'm looking forward to keeping a couple of does from him. So that right there is my Darius buck. My other New Zealand. And then we're going to come down to my next buck here. This is Dracula. Dracula is my black with blue points um, New Zealand buck. He is six months, no, seven, seven months old. And uh, he has not yet actually sired any kits, but he will be... Um, Crossing with at least his doe kids that I'll be keeping um, as breeding out of these two does here. Um, he is actually a sweet little buck too. He's got a great personality. And uh, I just truly love these rabbits. And then we're going to come down to my only California buck that I have. I um, plan on getting two more because I want three bucks of each breed that I have. This guy was, um, he is five months old. And he is a very beautiful, he's got really dark points on his nose, ears, feet, and tail. Um, he's actually a true, not more grayish blacks, but an actual dark colored um, Cali so this is Thumper like I said he is five months old so I'm hoping I'm gonna try to mate him with uh, my two California does this month I'm hoping anyways um, as long as he can mate with them 
and has some follows, and then he'll be considered a proven buck. But if he does not, then I'm probably going to end up just breeding to either my black buck down here or to Darius again. But that is my rabbit buck tell about. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. Um, I thought of just doing a doe video, but I think I'll just make this video complete. But since the viewer asked to know more about the buck champ right here, the red New Zealand I have, so I decided to start the video with that. But that is my buck rabbits. I just got everybody watered and fed, so everybody's pretty quiet right now. These are the seven uh, California New Zealand kits that will be seven weeks old next Tuesday, and then I'm going to do weights on them. Um, I'm pretty happy with the way that they look. I mean, I, I keep this feeder filled with uh, a 15% pellet, rabbit pellet, all natural. Um, and there's rolled oats in there, and then sunflower seeds, too. Plus, they get, they're eating first cut in alfalfa hay, too. That's a little weedy, but they don't seem to mind it. And then we've got these kits were out of this mama here, this full-blooded California, who I have planned to breed with. Mr. Thumper down there um, in about another couple of weeks and this doe right here to also be bred to him and if she does not take again then this will be the third time I've tried to get her to breed and she wouldn't well she does breed but she doesn't end up having babies so I don't know um, she might end up being on the cold truck which is sad but it's the way things have got to go if they can't produce for me I can't have them um, and then we've got these two does right here no these two right here sorry um, California does that I did cross with Mr. Darius down there who these babies are actually up and bouncing around eyes open all that good yada yada yada. I mean, I could pull this box right now and show you guys. Um, I think that they are. I got my door stuck. The babies are already moving around. Like, what's going on? Okay. It's always one thing or another, isn't it? You got all them babies right there. You can see them. Well, hello, little one. But, yep, yeah, they're all just being bouncy little babies. Try to make sure they're all, like, moving. and I'm just making sure everybody's warm and alive. But no one's... I haven't checked them in a few days. I probably shouldn't still have to, but that one's tiny. The black one. Like little. But I mean there are ten kits in here, so that's that's them right there. That's Ruby's little babies. I think they are, what, 12 days old today? Today's the 5th. Yeah, they're 12 days old today. So, 12 day old kits. And they're 
just moving around and bouncing around in there. These are 75% uh, New Zealand kits right here. Because this mama is a Cali New, Ze New Zealand cross. But she's a good mama, so I'm happy with her. She's a young mom. She was very young when she had her first litter, I mean. Very, very young. Um, almost too... Gosh, I'm like spilling all the water. Hold on, guys. Okay, got that back in there. My goodness sakes, that took me... It felt like forever. I'm going to show you guys the other... Um, she's a first time mama. She, these two are pretty much the same age. They were both born in June of 2023, except she had got loose at the breeder's house and two of the breeder's bucks were loose for a 25, 24 hour period or something before that, everybody got caught. And, uh, she told me about it, but she said, I can't guarantee she's pregnant. Which, in my case, I thought, well, that would make a four-month-old, you know, rabbit. At the time, she did end up kindling. So, she actually had a month, you know, to be able to grow a little more afterwards. And this is her mother. And then this doe, her mother is that one right there. That other California. Um, yeah. Um, this... This mama actually was pretty aggressive um, being pregnant and now she she's just she she wants to know what I'm doing obviously but we can see hers right here. It's okay mama, you're all right. It's okay, your babies are fine. And she's got 10 also. They were seeping. She's got a lot of broken they all got their eyes open. See the little eyes right there. Hers are very fat. Very fat babies. That one looks like it's a little one. Because it is. It's tiny. Don't quite have its eyes open. But it's a lot smaller than everybody else. Jeez, this thing's huge. Then you got these monster looking things, like huge babies. These are big. But I mean, they are, you know, a week old. I'm going to have to clean this out because it's starting to stink. Yeah, but they're cute, aren't they? And she was bred, obviously, to Darius, too. Trying to see what this one is. That's another one. This one's got the the back on it is like the way that it's colored. That is pretty. Man, I'd almost want to keep if this was a doe, I'd keep this as a, as a breeder just because of the coloring on her. I'm saying. Because she, these are half California, half New Zealand too. But my hopes were is I was going to breed my California buck to all four of these California. Well, she's a, she's a, a cross, a New Zealand California, but she looks California. Um, <clears throat> and keep a doe out of each of these does crossed with this boy down here, my California Thumper, and uh, that would help give me some more California does. 
and then I was going to look for two um, different bloodlined um, California bucks then to cross, you know, to keep doing it that way. I've got enough bucks here and um, enough does that I could cross everybody with and even keep some halves, you know, in, in the mixture. But I like both these New Zealand's and California rabbits. And these are the two breeds that I really prefer to use for meat rabbits and to breed off of for color for blanket pelts and stuff. So thank you guys for being here with me today. I hope you guys, well, I, I can't, can't shut it down yet. I got to finish doing these two doughs and then the dough down there. Hold on. And then earlier today, she actually had one of her babies out. Just making sure I got all the way to the back of that as best as I could. Temper, you want to become a daddy, don't you? Okay, now we're back to our New Zealand two does. This is um, Princess. She is actually due the 21st of this month. Crossed with him down there. And then we got Flower, who is bred to and due this month on the 23rd who's crossed with Mr. Darius there. She is a black with blue points, can produce blues, um, and then she is a broken obviously. Um, she got best of fur in her class for um, meat rabbit showmanship I guess, best fur, and uh, both these girls are pedigreed and um, my other New Zealand here this is actually the litter mate to my red but she's that that color is called Argentint I believe which is the wild color um, she is four months old so um, I was supposed to be getting another doe that was ha her half sister a blue um, so then I could have another one to cross um, to have bread with her, but I don't know. I might, I'm not sure what I'm going to do, how I'm going to do this anyways, but um, these ones are all on the um, truck to go out to be butchered when they make weight. And then these kits here are going to be, um, also on the freezer block too and then these when they have some kits if I can get them bred with Mr. Thumper a couple or at least one or two from each doe are going to be kept for breeding does anyways so um I'm going to actually keep a little more detailing on pedigrees and who's who when I keep them so I can know who they are and then I can keep my pedigrees here going throughout my herd of my rabbits. Thank you guys again for being here. Please subscribe if you're new. Thank you to all our new subscribers and we will see everybody tomorrow. Till next time. God bless.